Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on how to solo queue on the Battlefield 5 maps. Today we're going to be talking about Twisted Steel. Now this is not for those who want a lone wolf and just kind of be like, yeah, I'm part of a squad, but I want to do my own thing. Now this is for the people that you want to be in the squad, you want to do well with the whole squad, but you maybe don't want to communicate, you know, you don't want to be in that game chat, I understand that completely. So this is how you play on Twisted Steel. This is my class, this is what I do. So the first class, I got two strats for this map. The first class I use is Medic, and when I'm a Medic, I focus on capturing objectives. And really what I do is I'll push the objectives and stay inside the buildings, or stay around the buildings, because the way that Twisted Steel is built is in between the objectives, there's not a lot of cover except for the bridge, but there's kind of like tree cover, kind of trees so you can survive, but as a Medic, running through, some areas you have cover so that you don't get outranged, but a lot of the times you have to stay in the objectives. So I focus on capturing and holding objectives, you know. If I have something like, let's say I'm on a side, they have A and I have C and I'm at C, I'm probably not going to push A because it's very open going from C to A. I got the river, I got the bridge, you know, it's just a horrible mess. But maybe if I'm going from G to D, there's some, you know, there's some tree cover there. I might be able to pull that off. So I just kind of gauge how I'm going to push the objectives. Now, if I'm using assault, um, basically, I kind of analyze, okay, how much of a problem are tanks on this map? How, how good are the enemies at their tanks? If their tanks are a big problem, I'm going to be using assault, and I'm going to be using a long-range weapon. I'm going to try to stay away from the tanks, stay away from the people, but still try to shoot at the tanks with like my Panzerfaust or my Piot. Maybe even some dynamite, throw it in there, or the anti-tank grenades. But I'm gonna be using long range, you know, semi-automatic rifles, and I'm gonna be shooting at the tanks with the rocket launchers and stuff, because the, the Twisted Steel map is really big, so we're gonna be spread out, and the lower ammo capacity of the semi-auto rifles, and for that, the uh, horrible, horrible reload time, it's not gonna be that big of a problem as compared to like devastation, like devastation, oh my god, it's a big problem. So I'm gonna be focusing on tanks. Even if we're losing objectives, I'm still gonna be focusing on tanks because if the tanks are a problem and they don't get dealt with, any objective that you capture, you're gonna lose. So that's what I kind of do as assault. I'll just go to where the tanks are and I'll focus on them. Then maybe you know cap an objective here or there. But really, it's the tanks that I'm gonna be focusing on as assault. If I can, and it would be better, I'm gonna hop into a tank that can kill the other tanks, you know, an anti-tank tank. tank. That's what I'm gonna try to do for the most part. But if not, which most of the time you can't get in a tank because there's only three tanks, I'm gonna be using Assault. Now, when I'm using the Medic and the Assault class, um, especially, you know, the Germans kind of have a bad spawn on this map. I think the British have definitely a better spawn. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to either capture the bridge when I'm a soldier medic, and I'm gonna keep pushing the bridge, you know, B and E. Or, I'm gonna try to capture that village C, or the swamp. I'm gonna focus on one of those two sets of objectives, and go with it. I'm gonna make sure that something happens with those objectives. I need the bridge captured, and I'm gonna basically try to either capture the bridge, pick an objective, and go for it. So I might go B, E, and then D or B, E, and then C, or I'm gonna do the other thing, which if, like, let's say they have really strong bridge control, the enemies, I'm gonna go from one of those D or C objectives and try to flank it from there. That's my two objective strategies. I don't really mess with A or G or F, you know, I try to avoid messing with those objectives because I really just, I don't wanna deal with them. They're not fun objectives to deal with. Maybe F if I'm a medic, but G and A, I try to stay away from. Maybe if I'm on the British side and we're doing really good, I might go for A, but most of the time it's that main bridge and the two objectives in the middle of the map on the sides of the bridge. Those are the objectives that I'll go for. And that's really it for my lone wolf strategy. I would love to know what your guys' lone wolf strategies are in the comments below. How do you play as a lone wolf? You know, it's always nice because, especially on Twisted Steel, where you have planes, tanks, big open spaces, you got close quarters, combat, you got everything on this map. It's really nice. That's it. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. You can subscribe for more Battlefield 5 videos. 
I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post, or whatever I decide to make.